The trading post has finally arrived today after some delay. Rotan here, and we have a lot in store for you. By the end of the video, you'll know how to obtain the new mount Ashadar today. We're going to cover the trading post basics, some thoughts and opinions on the rewards, and my day one route and methods used to achieve Ashadar in an hour of playtime. The trading post is a new feature added today which allows players to trade in a new currency, Trader's Tender, for cosmetic rewards, including mounts and other unique transmogs. The starting quests give you up to 1500 Trader's Tender as an intro. The month-long Traveler's Log set of activities can award up to an additional 500 more for a total of 2,000 Traders Tender. And at 1,000 points, you get awarded the new mount, Ashadar. This mount changes form based on the time of day. More trading post content will come in the future, so subscribing is the best way to show your support and see that new content as soon as it arrives. So let's cover my day one route. Here are the quickest and easiest activities to complete to max you out on points. We're going to complete 15 world quests, Fulfill 10 crafting orders, complete 2 grand hunts, kill Liskanoth the world dragon, fish up 50 items, and use the slash love emote on the trading post NPCs and the dragon aspects in Valdraken. Finally, we'll complete the final side quests of the Waking Shores. If you've already done this, just complete 30 quests all over the Dragon Isles or gain 4,000 reputation. I started off this route with using the love emote on the trading post NPCs, with the pet being the most difficult as there were about 1,000 players on top of them at the time. The slash target command helped a ton here. Then I hearthed to Valdraken and used the same emote on the aspects at the top of the tower. By the way, all during this route, complete any world quests that come across your path so we can knock those 15 quests out as fast as possible. I then traveled to complete the Waking Shore's final quest line, which is located here. This quest line in the shadow of his wings is really only about 4 or 5 quests long, so it's really not too bad. Already, we've completed 300 points. Next, I flew to the Azure Span to complete the Grand Hunts, as that's where they were going on at the time. While completing these hunts, there was conveniently a pond nearby, so I started fishing to knock off that task too. After the second hunt was done, I was close enough to finish the fishing task that I just stayed put and picked up those points too. Quick note, sometimes when you fish, you get two items instead of one. 550 points done. At this point, I queued up for Liskanoth in the custom raid finder as I flew to the Temporal Conflux in Thaldrassus, and in no time I was able to join a group, fly in, and take down Liskanoth. Afterwards, I hearthed to Valdraken to complete some crafting orders. I had my girlfriend send me 10 orders, and I returned the favor by sending her 10. Or if you're like most of the WoW player base and don't have a friend, let alone a girlfriend, you can also use alts to complete this. By now we have 850 points. The only thing left to do was the remainder of the world quests on my map as fast as I could, and on the 15th one, I got my 1000 points. At this point, the game glitched out for me. At some point I was disconnected, and my progress bar got wiped. After about 4 relogs, my progress bar came back. Even though my progress bar came back and I got the notification to go collect my reward, the chest still wasn't working for me while I was recording. Luckily, my girlfriend ran this route with me and she recorded the footage you see here. So once you have a thousand points, head to the trading post chest in your capital city and open it for your trader's tender reward and your mount reward. Ashadar is now yours. Congratulations! And it only took us about an hour of in-game time. So go, go now, go get yours, what are you waiting for? Oh, you want some opinions on the trading posts? Good, bad, and controversial? Alright, here we go. To start with the negative criticism, there were some delays in getting this feature released to us, and I was disappointed to see that the exact same cosmetics available today were the same ones on the PTR. Also, the multiple bugs that I encountered on day one leaves somewhat of a sour taste in my mouth. On the positive side, I love the idea of new rotating cosmetics each month, which allows Blizzard a chance to make some more out-of-the-box ideas, or they can create themed month and activities. Think of a winter month where we'd have ice cosmetics and the activities consisted of something like assisting furbolgs in winter spring. As for some of the controversial news that I've heard, people don't like the idea of mounts which they've already paid for now being free to other players on the trading post. I get that. I've also heard some skepticism surrounding the trading post and more specifically the trader's tender currency and how it might pave the way for a World of Warcraft battle pass, which I wouldn't be too mad about because that means more free cosmetic content for most players, and only those who choose to pay more getting something extra or maybe just getting it easier. If all they're going to have is getting it easier, then given the small time investment it took us today to max out, the issue seems small and speculative. And that's all I have to say today on the trading post. More will be coming in the future. Thanks for watching, and if you liked this and want to see more, subscribe. Take care.